Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Wednesday, January 17, 2024. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you and may He watch over you throughout the day. Our reading today comes to us from Luke chapter 14, reading verses 1 to 6. And it says, And it came to pass, as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath day, that they watched him. Verse 2 says, And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the dropsy. Verse 3, And Jesus answering spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? Verse 4, And they held their peace. And he took him and healed him and let him go. Verse 5 And answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fallen into a pit and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day? 6 And last, And they could not answer him to these things. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks one more time for his words. And we are grateful for the privilege to share in the scriptures. Now, Jesus went to one of the chief leaders at the time to eat bread on the Sabbath day. Now, Jesus asks a very interesting question because back in those times, you know, they had a lot of misconception and misguided ideas that they were following and traditional ideas that they were following in space of what was actually written in the Word of God. So, as we understand that a lot of the principles from scripture they made it so burdensome because of their own spin that they bring to it and so they 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 make it seem like serving god was such a burden he asked the question if they thought it was lawful to do good on the sabbath because there was a man there who had an illness the scriptures say he had dropsy or the modern term for it is edema if i'm pronouncing it correctly now this is a condition where fluid is accumulated within the cells of the body mostly like in the um in the feet in the in the leg part of the body and also in the arms, based on what I was reading up. Now, Jesus asked them the question, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath day? Nobody wanted to answer. And so, he went ahead and healed the man. And then scripture say he let him go. Now, we know that the Pharisees and many of the leaders in Bible time always had a problem with the way that Jesus does things and they always looking for reason to accuse him of something trying to find some kind of fault against him and they could not find any and so he asked the question nobody wanted to answer because they wanted to hear what his point of view was on the matter well jesus gave them his point of view by healing the man which is to suggest that yes it is lawful it is okay to do good on the sabbath day now there is a lot of misconception that is out there as it relates to the sabbath right and many of these misconception comes about by wrong information 
or lack of understanding of what the scripture is saying and so people end up with the wrong idea and so they look at the sabbath as being a burden rather than a blessing i mean i've heard some weird weird stories and some weird beliefs that i'm like wow i didn't know that this is what people think of adventists or think about the sabbath persons come to me and i'll hear other persons say that oh they can't bathe on the sabbath they can't heat on the sabbath and i'm like who told you that where do you get those kind of ideas so you are telling us that all persons who, who, who worship on sabbath they walk around smelly they don't have bath and they don't eat no there's nothing in the bible that suggests that so that comes about by misinformation and that is why we have to accurately check our facts before we put them out there and also we have to be careful what or, or we give people um, information lest they leave with the wrong understanding of what is actually so and so it is okay to show kindness and yes sabbath keepers do bathe we eat right so when the bible speak about abstaining from work that's a total different kettle of fish it has nothing to do with you having a bath or eating it simply means that the day-to-day -day work that we do within the week the bible says that what in six days the lord did all his work and he rested on the seventh day that's the concept we have been following from it was given unto us so anything outside of that is a strange doctrine and is it, it is not backed by the word of god so if you want to know what the sabbath is all about you have to search the scripture thoroughly do your own investigation and you will find out the truth the holy spirit will show you that's what the scripture says the holy spirit is there to guide us into all truth and so he asks another question along with that what if you had an a donkey or an ass that fell into a pit on the sabbath day what you're gonna leave the pit or the animal there just because it's a sabbath day now how would you feel if you fell into a pit or you meet in an accident for an example let's use that scenario how would you feel if you meet into an accident on your way to church and then another church brother pass you by and say okay i am i i can't help you today because it is the sabbath day and the lord said i should not do any work and so when the sabbath is over i will come back and help you now do you think that that is christ-like and do you think that is something that god condones or would support of course not you can't see somebody suffering and you that's what being a christian is all about showing kindness to others being caring showing love being helpful reaching out to those who are in distress caring for for them and all of that so you are avoiding the very thing that you're supposed to do all because you you are of the belief that you will be breaking the sabbath that's not breaking the sabbath you are supposed to do that no if if you, if it's a scenario where you, you 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 you're going to the office now to to do manual labor that has nothing to do with um keeping the sabbath or nothing to do with with your with with your relationship with god 
and all of that, then you will be breaking the Sabbath as it relates to that. So we have to learn to differentiate what it means to keep the Sabbath and when or what it means when you're breaking it. And so for those of us out there who have the wrong concept of the Sabbath, I will advise us to go back to the Word of God and search it. There is enough information in the Word of God. And if you need clarification on some things, you can reach out to someone who will guide you, not just any and anyone, because as I said, some persons, they, they are so caught up in hating the Sabbath and those who worship on the Sabbath that they are not in a position to guide you correctly. So pray and ask the Lord to give you direction and he will certainly do so. So I encourage you that let us remember that we, we shall show kindness and love to all people. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. That is what being a Christian is all about. Showing love, kindness, following God's blueprint. So whatever Jesus does or did, that is what we are supposed to do. So let him be our example. So if Jesus healed on the Sabbath, then what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to emulate that. Right? If he feed people on the Sabbath, what are we supposed to do? Follow his example. And so on and so on. So, let's not stray away, stray away from the word of God. Okay? God bless you and have a wonderful rest of the day. Amen.